Shaper 1000 here. Happy Mother's Day. This is Saturday, so if you watch this tomorrow, Happy Mother's Day. If not, Happy Mother's Day in advance. I'm going to be cooking some steaks and some corn on the cob here. Look, I don't even have hair, and I am constantly pulling long hair off of something. Now, let's we'll start this grill up. Let's we'll start the fire. Yeah, with something special, a match. To me, this special because... Honestly, guys, I can't even remember the last time I started a fire with a match, but I'm sure it's been 15, 20 years. Let's see if I can still do it. I usually, well, let's see. When was the last time I even started one with a lighter? I don't know. Even if I'm just out in the backyard, I like to use, you know, more of a primitive fire implement. Only because it's fun. I would never rely on that in a survival situation. I always have a lighter on me. And I have a couple in my backpack. So, you know, that's what I would rely on. Then I would rely on my sparks next. But that's in survival. But this is fine. So let's see if I can still do this. Oh, yeah. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, all right. There it goes over there, too. Okay, I'm going to throw some wood on here. Let me back you guys up so you don't get burnt. Let's throw some stuff on here. For those of you that don't know, I've got a playlist on this grill. I made this grill. I built it. I built this grill out of an air compressor tank. All right, guys, so I'm going to let this get started real good here. I think I'm going to put a vent on this side. Uh, doesn't really need it because I usually cook indirect heating, but I think I will. Like for starting it up, it would probably be handy, but. Uh, so, yeah, there it goes. We're just going to be cooking a couple steaks and some uh, corn on the cob. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get this to burn, burn down a little bit. And then I'm going to go around back and get some smaller pieces of oak to put on there. And uh, then we'll get that burnt down. Then we'll throw the steaks on. All right, let's put some oak in there. We'll let that get started. Um, also have baked potatoes. I'm going to put some baked potatoes in here. So it's going to be a little bit yet, but we'll get there. All right, so first we're going to throw the potatoes straight down into the coals. Shut that for a second. Then I'm going to put the rack in here, and we're going to put the corner on the cob on the rack. We're going to let them cook first before the steaks because the steaks won't take any time at all. But I have the corn on the cob soaking in water. They've been soaking for about an hour or a little more just so they don't burn up. Now, let's go get the corn. Okay, we got the corn. corn on here and once the corn and potatoes are almost done I'll put the steaks on so I'll show you what we're looking at here all right I gotta get this shut down here so that way 
this doesn't burn up. And I'll check the potatoes periodically so they can cook even. I'll bring you back when we throw the steaks on there. Okay, let's put the steaks on it now. Now what I've done is I put some A1 steak sauce on these. And I'm going to just flip that over. Nice sizzle. With the steak sauce part down. Now I'm going to put some more steak sauce on it. That way when we flip them, it'll be ready. Now, this is just cheap stuff. You can use A1, whatever. But also, if you're going to make hamburgers, even if you're not going to make them on the grill, but definitely if you're going to make them on the grill, put some steak sauce in your hamburger meat before you make the patties up trust me you will love it all right i'll bring you back when we get ready to flip them over also add your seasoning your rub whatever you're going to add and uh it's going to turn out great barbecue sauce same thing mix it in with your hamburger meat if you want whatever but that steak sauce is not only just for after the steak's done cook it with the steaks on it trust me you'll love it okay let's go ahead and flip these i like using tongs on my steak <coughs> excuse me because if i if you stab them too much the juices will run out and they'll dry up so i like using tongs Whoa. there we go now i'm going to put some more sauce on this side just to kind of keep it from drying out got our taties down there they're about done well I think they're done but got the uh, corn on the cob up here I'll show you what we're looking at Nice, huh? Very, very nice. All right, I'm going to close this lid down. Let them smoke a little bit more. Raise the lid, it's down 150, but that'll jump up pretty quick. I usually try to stay around between 250 and 350 just depends on what kind of meat I'm cooking see it's starting to raise up already so yeah I'll bring you back when we take these off okay guys let's take these off now I did clean this off so there's no cross contamination Yes, that one is mine. <laughs> now, I'm just going to put all this stuff on here together. It's not going to hurt anything, guys. We're barbecuing. Now, I'm going to set this over here for a second. Good. Take this out. Now, we're going to get our taties. And then I'm going to let these rest steak. These rest steak. I'm going to let these rest steak. I'm going to let these steaks rest. Now, if you're not sure how to tell when they're done or how you like them, get you a, uh, get you a little digital thermometer. They're cheap. So, you know, yeah, inexpensive and, and you know, it, it's got it'll tell you on the thermometer you know what temperatures you should cook everything at and stuff like that so I'm gonna let these rest though for about 10 minutes and then we're gonna eat so 
Say hi, Monk. Hi. Monkey's taking out a box to the trash. Bruno's over here. So, listen, guys, if you don't see this tonight, hopefully you'll see it tomorrow. Have a happy Mother's Day. And uh, I want to thank everyone for watching. Appreciate it. Thanks for supporting the channel. And supporting the channel means it doesn't always mean giving money. You know, what they, what most YouTubers, and yes, they're YouTubers, they consider themselves content creators. They hate when you call them YouTubers, but most of them make it sound like you're not supporting the channel unless you give money. Well, that's why nothing on my channel is ever going to be blocked behind a paywall. Nothing. Okay? You do help someone's channel just by watching. You're helping their channel especially if they're monetized every view counts so all my stuff's free so don't feel obligated or anything like that because i hate when they do that you know and and just make it sound like you know they're doing this strictly for you no they're not especially big time youtubers no they're not okay they're doing it for the money not for you i do it for you because honestly i would still be doing this stuff that I do whether I film it or not but I want to share with you guys so you know I want hopefully maybe you guys learn something just one little thing you know and when I get a comment that says you know just thanks that means a lot to me especially when when someone says thanks that really helped me you know and and ask questions if I can help somebody just one person that's that's all that matters to me and hopefully you guys enjoy my content um, I do work hard on it for you but like I said honestly I you know I'm not making this video just for you I would be doing it anyway so I'm sharing it with you so don't let them think make you think that oh you know, this guy goes out camping every week just for me. No, he goes out every week for your view. Okay? So, don't let him fool you thinking, you know, mind games with you thinking, man, I really need to go to their Patreon or, or you know, I need to donate money. And No, no you don't. Because just by watching a video, you're contributing to their channel. You are helping their channel out. So, with that being said, again, guys... Happy Mother's Day to all you mothers out there. Happy Mother's Day to all you mothers out there. And uh, hopefully your weekend's going great. If you see this tonight, I'm a day early. But, you know, uh, tomorrow we're going to do some filming. We're going to be on the boat. So that should be a lot of fun. And also, I got a quick dryer fix for you, which is a very common problem. But it's easy and it's cheap to do. I'll show that to you tomorrow, too. So should be two videos up tomorrow thanks for watching guys i really really appreciate it and we'll see you in the next one bye bye guys take care of yourselves